Hi, good morning everyone. This is CY once again. Alright, thank you for joining me today. Um, if you are first time joining me, right, my, my uh, channel is all about having fun making coffee. Uh, I did a modification to my uh, DF64 uh, single dose grinder. Right, as you can see, um, I have uh, designed this base for the grinder. And in this video, I'm, it's going to be a very quick video to show you the the grind actually uh, before the tilting is done and after the tube has been installed right I've uh, designed and printed this tube station right so that uh, I try to make I try to uh, ensure that the the grinds will come out more easily right uh, from the chute rather than being having to push out um, by the centrifugal force I hope there's some sort of gravity when you push out it will slide down uh, much easier uh, so in a, in a short while you will see how uh, the Tilting, uh, did it ever? Did, is it going to improve the uh, the way that the grind uh, coffee ground is actually coming out from the shoot, right? So this is uh, the objective of the video today, right? So there. stay tuned. Okay, you can see that this is uh, the original position of the grinder before the tilting is done. Right, so let me just shoot at the side to let you see, right? I think the angle is probably less than. Uh, okay, I, I have to get a protractor to measure the tilting angle, right? So this is the position, and let me load some pins. So this is the uh, the condition after uh, before it was being tilted.
which I'll install on um, the stand right so this is actually the stand that I've designed right uh, it has a tube of 10 degrees right so uh, it's hollow so that I can save the printing material right the bottom is actually hollow out using hexagon design right so it's actually very light and the installation is actually very easy right just have to leave your grinder up and then let it sit right it will sit very nicely onto it and it's still very stable right and then you can just pull it back and now uh, it's tilted so let me bring you to see the side view right so as compared to just now right a tilt is much more right this is actually a 10 degree additional tilt right but in order for you to uh, hold on to the dosing cup properly because now the dosing cup will be standard down right instead of a uh, horizontal so what's going to happen is the sleeve right originally is on top you have to remove the sleeve and put it bottom right so the, the frictions will grip uh, the cup as well as the dosing uh, as well as the powder filter so that it doesn't slide out uh, because when the grinder is grinding you produce a bit of vibration and the vibration can actually uh, cause the cups to drop out right if you don't change the sleeve the rubber sleeve to the bottom right so make sure you change the rubber sleeve from the top to the bottom right you can see that i don't install both because we, once you install both the top and bottom the gap here will become very small and it will be very hard for you to remove the cup right so with the bottom sleeve you will just cap you will just keep this uh, dosing cup in position nicely right so let's see how the grinding is uh, how is it different from the previous situation? Let me look something. Right, I don't know whether it's my um, imagination. I can see that there's actually less static uh, surrounding. Uh, not because uh, the the bottom stand actually removed the static. I think it's because of the tube now the grind actually grind uh, comes out in a comes out in an easier way and go directly to the cup. But instead of being uh, uh, scattered around the cup, and that actually caused the static. Uh, the static charges at the side to actually attract the coffee ground right so let's see that again at the side Okay, so now let's see how the uh, coffee ground is being dosed directly into the powder filter. Uh, see how the tube actually um, changes the way that the ground is being fed onto the powder filter directly. Right. First, I will dose directly into the um, powder filter without the dosing cup. And you can see that now my um, powder filter is tilted down, right? Because uh, this uh, powder filter holder has not been adjusted yet so I'm uh, in the second modification I'm going to mod this uh, holder so that it tilt vertically upwards 
in a horizontal position so that the polyfilter or the dosing cup will be closer to the chute. I'm not too sure whether you can see the difference but now you can see that because of the slight uh, tilting of the body and the polyfilter now being tilted in this direction instead of horizontal now the coffee ground actually settle more towards the center whereas before that the coffee ground will be settling around the, uh, around the top region
Right, so uh, this is uh, not a very long video, it's going to be a short one, right, just to demonstrate to you um, the differences before and after uh, I've inserted the base, the tube, the machine 10 degrees more. Uh, so uh, I think you are the best judge, you can see for yourself whether there's actually improvement in the way that the uh, coffee ground is being uh, deposited into the cup or the pour filter. I think probably not so much difference in the cup, right, because the cup is, uh, is quite deep and you can hold quite a lot of coffee grounds but when it comes to polar filter right because the polar filter is very shallow and I used to have a, I used to need to actually uh, pause the ground cross the grind uh, tap it so that you know, the, the, the coffee ground can be settled and I can actually pack more coffee ground on top right if I don't do that and if I dose directly into the polar filter the coffee ground will actually overfill and, uh, and actually can uh, get out of the uh, polar filter in the basket which is actually quite messy Right, so uh, I hope this uh, I hope this modification uh, I will continue to monitor the the benefit of uh, or is there any any real benefit of tilting the machine by ten degrees more, right? Uh, and stay tuned for more updates on this, right? So thank you for joining me today, right? This is CY once again. Please subscribe to my channel if you find my channel you uh, my video useful to you, and like my videos. Thank you for watching, and see you very soon.